Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. <clears throat> Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. That's great. <laughs> are you cold? Because it's raining. No? No. Thank you. No, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, very nice. Uh, let me share with you the screen so you can see the presentation. Okay. There you go. Today is Thursday, September 22nd, 2022, and today is our class number 11, class 11. In today's class, we'll talk about food, or more specifically, breakfast in different countries, and also how to use adverse of frequency. So we have two objects. By the end of this class, you will learn about common breakfast foods in different countries. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates some cultural difference in food. Second objective. By the end of this class, you will learn how to use adverse of frequency when talking about food. So let's get started. We have these activities. Activity one, recalling previous class. Activity two, different breakfasts around the world. Activity three, adverse of frequency. And activity four, wrap up. Okay, before we start, we need to take the attendance, okay? So um, please say present or here when I mention your name, okay? So let's see. We start with Daniel Quintanilla. Daniel is at Quintanilla. Hasn't connected yet. Daniela Magali Asen. Present. Daniela Delmi Arely Oliva. Present teacher. Thank you, Delmi. Esmeralda Elizabeth. Okay, she hasn't connected yet. Eh, Gabriela Miguelila Riaza, Tercera. Okay. Jacqueline Vanessa Sura. Hola. Ya voy. Mande. Ok, I'm sorry for that. Don't forget to turn off your microphone. Ok. <laughs> Jocelyn Gabriela Martínez. Present. Jonathan Vladimir. Present. Thank you. And Jose Vidal Vázquez. Karen Elizabeth Garcia. Present. Thank you, Karen. Catherine Yasmin Guatemala. Present. Thank you, Catherine. Margarita Elizabeth. Present. Thank you, Margarita. Mayra Areli Méndez. Ninian okay. Elizabeth. Thank you, Ninian. I see you there, but. Present. Okay, thank you, Ninian. Victoria Ingrid Leal. Present. Thank you, Victoria. Jancy Melanie Montes. Present. Thank you, Yancy. Jeremy Lisbeth Lopez. Hi, present. Okay, and I see Daniel Quintanilla. Present coach. And Jose Vidal Vasquez. Oh, he's connecting. Okay. But we know he's there. Jose Vidal. Jose Vidal Vasquez Mengiba. Okay, thank you everyone for your punctuality, okay? Thank you so much. Let me share the screen. Well, in the first exercise, we have a true and false activity. 
remember that we have been studying the use of some and any. Do you remember when do we use some? When do we use some? Affirmative. We show in, in affirmative. Exactly, only in affirmative sentences. And any? What that means? Negative. Negative and question. question. So over here, you see a picture of a refrigerator with some vegetables, some fruit, some juice. So you have to tell me, okay, if it's true or false. Number one, there's some celery, true or false? False. This is celery. Apple, celery. There's some celery. It's, it's true. Celery. Uh, it's true? It's true, yes. It's true. There isn't an apple. There isn't an apple. True or false? False. It's... That there isn't an apple. Do you see an apple? It's true. It's true. I can come to that one. It's... False because there is oh. an apple here. No. Uh, you buscaba una manzana roja, pero no la vi. <laughs> yeah, I was looking also for a red apple, but it's a green apple. Mm. So it's false because there is an apple. Green, but there is an apple. There's a beet root. Beet root. What is beet root? Is similar to remolacha. Yes, it's true. It's true, yes, it's true. true. Right? So yes, it's true. There are some pears. False? False. Exactly, it's false. We don't see pears, right? Okay, there aren't any strawberries. There aren't any strawberries. True or false? True. 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 There aren't any strawberries, but there are some strawberries over here. False. But this is false, exactly. There are some lemons. False. 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 lemon. False. 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 There are some carrots. It's true. true. There aren't any oranges. True. And this? False. 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 Exactly. Very nice. Excellent. We have another exercise. Let me check. Comment. The exercise. Okay. Well, this exercise you can do it in, and you can do it later for homework because we have we have an activity that we have to do, and we need time. So this link that I am going to send that I'm, I already sent this link is going to be your homework. Okay, I already sent it. And it's your homework. Now, next activity is let's see. Different breakfasts around the world. Yesterday we read this conversation in which they were talking about fish for breakfast, like in Japanese. Uh, 
well, in Japan, like in Japan, it's a Japanese breakfast. So today, you are going to tell me and your classmates, the class, about what people in other countries eat for breakfast. Everybody's going to pass. So I hope that you did the homework. And mm -hmm. so who would like to start? Hello, who's going to start with the presentations? We have different countries like Spain, Mexico, England, Argentina, Greece, China, Cuba, Italy, Egypt, Costa Rica, Brazil, United States, Peru. So who's going to start talking about breakfast in these countries? Yo? Nimian, okay, Nimian, you're gonna tell us about England. Okay, tell us about what English people eat for breakfast. Um, breakfast in England. Know what I eat is usually preparing with eggs. Uh, friends, scrubber, or boiler, bacon, sausage, mushrooms, tomato, with a blonde of iron, black pudding, a sausage very similar to the Spanish blue sausage, toast of the white bread or integra, beans or potato, fries or mashes. A full English breakfast is usually accompanied with the tea or coffee and buttered toast. Great job, Nimi, and congratulations. Thank you so much for your presentation. Okay, very nice. Who is next? Okay. Teacher. Yes, Jeremy. A mí me, este, edgy, pero yo lo voy a decir, pero no sé si está bien pronunciado. Lo voy a pronunciar bien. To try, okay, Jeremy. It, let's talk about Egypt, Bre Egyptian breakfast. It, Egypt is said to have the her trees breakfast of the Arabic middle. Eastern countries, pita bread, white fried eat, and the renowned ren meat, Egyptian beam, recit with olive oil, garlic, and the juice of a lemon. No se me entendió ni pepa, pero. <laughs> now we, we could understand something, okay? No le escuché nada, yo. We could understand something, Jeremy. So, Egyptian people eat? It says to have the, uh, the, the hair trees, gray fats, of the Arab Middle Eastern co uh, countries, pita bread, white fried eat, and the re renowned Egyptian beam reside with olive oil, garlic, and the juice of a lemon. Okay, so they eat beans, right? And bread, I understand, and lemon juice. Okay, thank you, Jeremy, for your efforts. Thank you so much. <laughs> Gracias. Okay. Who is next? Hi, teacher. Okay, Jonathan, you will uh, talk about United States. Can I share the screen? Of course, let me give you permission. Yes, now you can.
Hola. Se ve. Eh, al principio sí, pero luego ya no vimos, pero supongo no. ¿Y, si, no. ¿Y si se escuchaba? No tenía apagado el micrófono. Una prueba más. Sorry. Si ¿Sí se escucha, me escucha. Yes. Okay. I talking about uh, popular American breakfast. Uh, the first is croissant sandwich. Uh, Americans eat uh, omelets. Uh, American eat eggs and bacon. It's a <clears throat> popular break breakfast. Uh, there uh, it's two hot cakes and biscuit or pretzel. Uh, it's a biscuit is for uh, bread. Uh, salado, si sí, no recuerdo cómo se dice, pero es es pretzel uh -huh, or, or pretzel le, le dicen ellos. And only this. And what do they drink? Sorry. What do they drink? Uh, always coffee. Gener generally, uh, they drink uh, coffee. Exactly. Very nice. Because mm -hmm. English people, people from England, they prefer... They... It's a uh, United States people. Yeah. In American people, they... Amer American people. Yes. Thank you, Jonathan. Very nice. Thank you for the pictures. Now the next question is Margarita. Okay, Margarita. Yes, sorry, estaba, solo estaba probando si podía compartir y ya de un solo me apareció. Ay, disculpe. Now you're going to okay. present your next. Okay, the Brazil typical breakfast has um, bread, butter, cheese and ham, cheese bread, egg, Tapioca, fruit, um, vanilla cake, or orange cake, cereal, coffee, or coffee with milk, juice, or yogurt. Yogurt. Okay. Yes. Great. Very good. <laughs> Thank you. Good pronunciation, yes. Tapioca is like yuca here, okay? Yes, like yes. Yuca. Okay, Jocelyn. Good job, Margarita. Okay, Jocelyn, it's your turn. Today I'm going to talk about what people in Greece eat for breakfast. Greece traditional breakfast mainly consists of cereals, nuts, dairy products, olive oil, and fruit juice. In the morning on the green tables, we can feed a uh, thin variety of food, such as toasted bread with cheese and olives, honey or ham, accompanied with black tea or coffee fruit, hard uh, boiled egg on traditional yogurt. Thank you, Jocelyn. Yes, the, the Greek yogurt is so delicious. Okay, thank you. Very nice, congratulations. And now we are going to listen to Delmi. Delmi Arali. Good afternoon. Today I am going to talk about what people in Italy eat for breakfast. They eat biscuits, cereals, bread, and coffee or chocolate milk for breakfast, but they do not lack a strong coffee, tea, or Juice naturals. Natural use. Natural use. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, Delmi. Congratulations. Okay. Great. Great job. Good investigation. Okay. Who is next? Me teacher. Okay, Daniel. Go ahead. Okay, uh, teacher. Give me one minute, please. Okay, 
Do you see? Yes, we can see. Okay. Typical in Spain, breakfast is potato omelette. Eggs are an essential ingredient in many breakfast and Spain's is no exception. This is with the potato omelette is one of many people's favorite dish for breakfast. Typically, traditional potato tortillas are made with basic ingredients. Uh, for example, uh, potatoes, eggs, and salt. For this reason, it is also known as potato omelette, tortilla, pincho, or, or even Spanish omelette. Its preparation depends on the personal preference of each person. Be able uh, to carry fiber ingredients that accompany a source of onion, garlic, cheese, etc. This tortilla is usual accompaniment the coffee with milk, a kind of draft beer, be that is uh, it made. It's one of the most popular break, breakfast is in Spanish and extremely delicious, delicious. Wow, it looks like a pupusa, but it's made of potato, right? It's made of yes. potato. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, thank you, Daniel. Yes, if you didn't have lunch, you're going to get hungry. <laughs> okay, excellent. Who is next? Yeah, teacher. Okay, Catherine, Jasmine. The central bath, uh, sorry, and the breakfast, uh, Mexican food. Yeah. The central bath of a traditional Mexican breakfast is the egg ranchero or chilaquiles depending on the region, accompanied by a plate of beans with chili and fruit juice. Eggs ranchero consists of fried eggs and salted peppers, somewhat uh, resemble Spanish ratatouille, but it places on corn tortillas, chilaquiles on the other, and are some, somewhat more lab laborious to cook and are made of, of tortilla chips. That is, toasted corn bedded in chili sauce, cheese, and some type of meat, in addition to beans with chili, depending on each region, these dishes are accompanied by others typical of traditional Mexican cuisine, such as machaca, Brown dairy meat or cochita, cochinita pibil, eh, a dish of pork marie, marinated in chili and orange. And the drink eh, traditional is coffee pot. It is prepared in a clay pot and its particular flour is given by piloncillo cinnamon and clove. Sometimes I like to add a little cocoa. Finish t shirt. Excellent. Good job, Catherine. Okay. So it's, it's the Mexican breakfast. Thank you so much. And now, who is next? Teacher. <laughs> Uh, typical Cuban breakfast. The king of the first meal of the day in Cuban is coffee. A coffee considered one of the strongest in the world. It is combined with warm milk and sugar to reduce its bitter taste. Along with its it toast Cuban bread, is served a very traditional bread in the country that is spread with butter and is usually dipped in coffee, although it can be tossed separately to make breakfast more complete tortillas and even croquettes, cheese, or ham are, are added. 
Okay, that's a Cuban breakfast. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, Yancy. Hey, hello. Okay, my dad. No me veo una película del otro lado del cine. Eh, I talk about Peru. The typical food made with pork. Chicharrón, salchichas, eh, in tamal. Drink coffee, tea, coffee and milk, etc. Okay, thank you, Mayra. So it's a very strong breakfast, right? They eat meat and pork. <laughs> okay, thank you, Mayra. Who is next? Karen. Okay, Karen. Like they eat the popular breakfast in Costa Rica is gallo pinto. Gallo pinto is a traditional Costa Rica breakfast. Consists of a combination of rice and beans that is served for breakfast accompanied by eggs, cheese, cream, banana, tortilla, and a good national coffee. Very similar to El Salvador, right? <laughs> yes, teacher. Thank you, Karen. It's because it's Central America, right? Okay, very nice. We are missing some. Who's missing? Who's missing? Who's next? Who's next? Okay. Your turn. And Victoria. Okay, Victoria. Tell us the Chinese breakfast. Um. Okay. The Chinese have 10 popular forms, but I choose four to explain. Number one, soybean, milk, and different dow is sick. They need some eggs, oil, utiao, some of sugar. Number two, same as bones. Sweet flavored bones are stuffed with bean paste, creamy custard, sisa seeds, and sugar. Number three, fries for rice or congee. Uh, it, is, it is made from red beans, coex seeds, peanuts, and black rice. Number four, one one ton and dumplings. I no se no se ve pero es dumpling. One ton and dumplings. They are uh, avalo avalo bell with a large is with a large dairy of filling sauce and raw pork, shrimp, fish, mushrooms and other vegetables. Thank you. Only Thank you for the pictures. Okay, very interesting. Thank you, Victoria. Okay, who's missing? ¿Quién nos falta? A poder este no lo dejé de compartir. Siempre se mira, teacher. Yes. Okay. Ahí está. Excuse me. Okay, who is missing? ¿Quién nos falta? Yo. Argentina. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, today I am going 
what about what people in Argentina eat for breakfast? In Argentina, breakfast is a throwy, simply afraid the option child. It's it's ever more beyond the two case. It's take place pescada or media luna. They be served with coffee or orange juice. Anywhere serving anything extra extravagant, including yogurt or fruit or or any form or cook it is carrying to tourists. <laughs> Thank you for your effort in your participation. Yes, the Argentine breakfast, the media lunas. Uh -huh. They are similar to a croissant, okay? And they are like fried in butter or oil, okay? Yeah, they look delicious. I would like to try these, the media lunas. I was I was going to show you the picture, but I can Yeah, it's not possible. Maybe you can see it. It's this. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, everybody, for your participation. Did everybody pass? Do pasaron? Nadie se quedó con ganas. Okay. <laughs> Solo con ganas de probar. Okay. Very nice. Good. So thank you. I really enjoy your participations, guys. Okay. Frequency oh, of so the topic for today. When we talk about adverbs of frequency are used to say how often or how frequent we do an activity. Con cuanta frecuencia lo hacemos. And the adverbs of frequency are these ones. Always. Usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, and never. Right here, you can find them in, in, in the order of frequency. So 100% is always then, usually it's like 80%, often it's like six, it's like 70%. Sometimes it's like 50%, hardly ever is like 10%, and zero is never. What is the structure? Okay, the structure is you first need to have a subject. She, I, my family, Maria, Pepito, Anastasio, okay? The subject. After the subject, we have the adverb of frequency. Never, always, sometimes. Then we have the verb. And finally, we have the complement. The subject, adverb of frequency, verb, and complement. And I have three examples. She never makes her bed. She never makes her bed. The verb has the S because it's third person singular. My family always has dinner together. Mi familia siempre eh, tiene la cena o cenan juntos. I sometimes eat fruit for breakfast. A veces como fruta para el desayunar. Okay. Okay, so we have that. Subject, adverb of frequency, verb, and complement. Sometimes you can have the adverb of frequency before, like in this example. Sometimes I eat breakfast. So, yes, it's possible to have the adverb of frequency at the beginning, but this is the normal structure, subject, adverb of frequency, verb, and complement. Now, in questions, you can also ask, do you ever have fish for breakfast? Ever means siempre, okay? Siempre desayunas pescado, siempre desayunas pescado. Yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. Or no, I never do. More examples in the next slide. 
we have always, usually, normally, or generally, often, frequently, sometimes, occasionally, seldom, rarely, we can also include here hardly ever, and never. Siempre, usualmente, normalmente, generalmente, a menudo, frecuentemente, a veces, ocasionalmente, eh, raramente, ambos significan eso, o sea, pocas veces o raramente, hardly ever es muy pocas veces, uh -huh. never, nunca. Now, I would like some volunteers to read the examples for me. So I need some volunteers to read. Volunteers are victims. No me duerme. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, let's start with Victoria. Okay. Victoria. I always, always make up at six o'clock. Thank you. Uh, usually, Delmi. I usually come home after work. Thank you. Jonathan, normally? I normally swing after school. Thank you. Often or frequently? Jansi? I often spend Christmas with friends. Thank you. Sometimes, Jocelyn? I sometimes play tennis on the weekend. Thank you. Nimian, occasionally? I occasionally eat Vietnamese food. Yes, Vietnamese food, okay. Seldom, Catherine? I seldom go to the library. To the library, exactly. Rarely, Karen Cartier? ¿Cómo se pronuncia esa palabra, teacher? Rarely, rarely. I rarely listen to the radio. To the radio. Very, very good. And never. Daniel? I never listen to rock music. Okay. Thank you so much, everybody, for your participation. So as you can see, we have first the subject, then the other frequency and then the verb and the complement, right? Okay. We have more. These are adverbs, okay? But we also have expressions of frequency. The difference is that expressions of frequency goes, they go at the end of the sentence. They go at the end. For example, I take a shower, twice a day. Me baño dos veces al día, right? My husband does exercise three times a week. Entonces la expresión, the expression of frequency is three times a week, tres veces a la semana. Pero va al final. My husband does exercise three times a week. Esa es la diferencia. Las expresiones de frecuencia van al final de la oración. You, what are some examples? Every day, every week, every month, every year. ¿Qué significan todos los días, cada semana, cada mes, cada año? Or once a month, once a day, once a week, once a year, una vez al mes, una vez a la semana, una vez al año, o twice, dos veces, three times, tres veces, four times, Cuatro veces. Okay? So that's the difference of adverbs of frequency and expressions of frequency. Los adverbs of frequency, ¿a dónde van ubicados? Después del subject. Después del sujeto y antes del verbo. But the expressions of frequency go al final, at the end of the sentence, al final de la oración. Okay, now, 
let's practice. Para preguntar cuán a menudo alguien hace algo, usamos la pregunta, how often? How often do you? Entonces, vamos a hacer un, una dinámica aquí. Nos vamos a preguntar, how often do you? Different things. Por ejemplo, how often do you eat pupusas? I always eat pupusas on weekends. Yo siempre como pupusas los fines de semana. You can see Donald Trump trying Salvadorian pupusas, right? <laughs> no, just kidding. Okay, I am going to start, okay? And it can be about food or about other activities. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to start. Karen. Karen Garcia, how often do you drink Coca-Cola? How often do you drink Coca-Cola? Or soda? I don't Coca-Cola, teacher. Ah, okay. So you say, I never, I never drink, I never, I never drink soda or I never drink Coca-Cola. Okay. okay. Yes. Okay, teacher. Okay, Karen. Now you are going to ask Make the question to a classmate. Ahora usted hace la pregunta a otro compañero o compañera. Uh, Jocelyn Gabriela. Okay. okay. How, how often do you eat chicken? I always eat chicken at Twice. ¿Cómo se dice semana? Week. Week. Ok. So you eat chicken twice a week. Dos veces a la semana. Twice a mm -hmm. week. Okay. Mm -hmm. So Jocelyn eats chicken twice a week. Ok. Excellent. Jocelyn. Mm, quiero ver. Let, uh, me, let me see. Quiero ver. Se dice, let, me. let me see. Margarita, how often do you drink milk? I usually drink milk um morning in the morning. Very nice, very nice. Okay, Margarita, it's your turn. Okay. Um, no, Papa, um, Gabriela, <laughs> how often do you eat um, beef? Beef. Beef. Carne. Carne. Yes. Gabriela, Abigail. Okay, maybe another classmate, Margarita. Okay. Um, Nimian? Yes. How often do you eat beef? Um, I... Uh, <laughs> I eat beef uh, once in, in the month. Once a month. Once a month. Okay, very nice. Okay, Nimia, you make the question to another person. You make the question now, Nimia. Jeremy? Okay. How uh, often uh, do you eat? Uh, fish. Uh, 
Eh, uh, I always. ¿Cómo se dice semana? Week. 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 Por ejemplo, una vez a la semana. I eat fish once a week. I, I eat fish one. Um, son medio semana. Week. A week. Once a week. Once a week. I. Ya me trabé. I eat fish once a week. I eat fish one to week. Once a week. Okay. Thank you, Jeremy. Okay. Now, Jeremy, you make the question. Um, uh, Jonathan Vladimir. Mr. Salinas. Yes. Mm. ¿Cómo era la pregunta, teacher? How, ya la how often do you? I hope when do you? Teacher, ponle en la pantalla que no la veo. Okay. Ahí está. How often do you eat eat mm, beer? How often beer? Beer. beers? Beers, beers, beers. <laughs> Sí, sí, sí. Ah, how often do you uh, drink? <laughs> okay. I never drink beer. <laughs> good boy, good boy. Okay, I am good boy. <laughs> yes. Okay, make the question. Uh -huh. No one else. Uh, a ver, un segundo. Uh, no sé quién falta. Eh, Katherine. Ok. Yeah. Ah. Eh, how often do you go to park? Do, do you go to the park? Ok. How often yes. do you go to the park? Yes. I usually. Um, Three, three days per week. Okay, you can use expressions. I go to the park. I go to the park. Three times a month. No. Three times a week. A week. Tres veces a la semana. Yeah. Three times a week. Okay. Very nice. Vaya, les voy a decir algo. Eh, cuando decimos una oración, podemos, de frecuencia, podemos utilizar el adverbio o podemos utilizar una expresión de frecuencia. O sea, puede ser esto o esto. Pero no las mezclemos porque nos vamos a confundir. ¿Ok? Entonces, podemos decir... I always go to the park in the afternoon or I sometimes go to the park in the afternoon. Or I go to the park twice a week or I go to the park every day, okay? Entonces, o usamos un adverbio de frecuencia que va, digamos, en medio, o usamos una expresión de frecuencia que va al final de la oración. ¿Ok? Sí, ahí es una observación general. No, no solo para Catherine. Vaya, Catherine, haga el make the question to someone else. Um, ¿Quién falta, teacher? Um, Jancy. Victoria, I think, Mayra, Daniel. Okay, uh, Chanti. How do you of the how often do you drink coffee? I always 
uh, drink coffee. Okay, so she drinks coffee every day, right? <laughs> okay. Yes. And you, Yancy, you made the question. Uh, Victoria. How often do you eat bread? Victoria, you are mute. Okay, Excuse now. me. I never eat uh, breakfast. Okay, it was, it was breakfast or bread, Jancy? Bread, breakfast. Bread. 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 Uh, uh, I sometimes, sometimes eat bread. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you, everyone, for your participation. It was nice. I get, you are very intelligent, guys, because you all um, you understand very quickly. Now we're going to work on an exercise to continue practicing this topic. Okay. And in this exercise, we're going to practice the order. Okay. So it says put the words in the correct order. Usually at Sally goes 10, two o'clock bed. Okay, so we have to put the words. What is first? What goes first? Sally. Exactly, the subject. Sally and then? Usually. Usually. Frequency, exactly. And then? Bear. The goes. bar, exactly. Sally usually goes? Uh, Okay. At bed, goes to bed, se va a la cama at, at 10 o'clock. Exactly. Okay, next. He sometimes. He sometimes. It's Breakfast for yogur for breakfast for breakfast. Okay, number three. Mary. 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 Often. Oh, often. Doesn't. 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 Watch. Watch. TV in the morning. The morning. Number four. Julie. I, I Julie. Mm, Julie. You. It's you. Yes. And Julie. You never go. You never go to the, the park, park in, in July. July. In July, exactly. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. Always. 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 Play. 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 Game. Computer games. Number six. She. Does. She does. Often. Does. Homework after school. After school. Yes. Number seven. Kevin. Kevin. Kevin sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. Takes, takes to the bus. To the bus. The, uh -huh. the, bus, the bus to a school. To a school. A bus to a school. Okay. They. They. They usually don't usually drink coffee. Drink, drink coffee. coffee. Okay. Bye. My dad, dad always, always brushes, brushes his teeth. And number 10. She, she never, never, never eats, eats burger for lunch. For lunch. So, she <laughs> <laughs> okay. Number 
Great job. Great job, guys. Excellent. Okay. Now I want you to please uh, write sentences using all the adverbs of frequency. Okay. So let me share. the screen like this example please write a sentence using always another sentence using usually using normally free often sometimes occasionally seldom rarely and never okay one sentence for each adverb of frequency it can be about you or it can be about your friends or family so let's write it down. I will send this a slide on WhatsApp so you can have the information of it. Okay. I always eat my breakfast. I usually play video games. I normally go to the supermarket. Okay, good example. Teacher. Yes. El hecho que estén suspendidas las clases a nivel nacional no suspenden las nuestras, o sí? No, a menos que se les notifique. Okay. Okay. Okay, so you got information over there. It's two o'clock and it's time to make the wrap up, okay? So we have three questions and I need some volunteers, okay, to participate. Oh, we have more examples. I always, okay, then we don't use the activities. It's solo, I'll always go. I always go to the school for my daughter, okay? Let's see, someone, can someone tell me what are the adverse of frequency? What are the adverse of frequency? What lesson? Always. Well, usually. Sometimes. Often. Sometimes. Yeah, really ever, ever. Never. Never. Often. Uh, sel seldom. 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 Mm. Yes. 
uh, occasional. Really, really, really. Rarely, rarely, raramente. I rarely go to the movies, for example. Or I hardly ever go to the mountains. Mm -hmm. What's the structure of a sentence using adverbs of frequency? What's the structure? Always. Subject. 100. Bear uh, frequency. Bear and complement. Exactly. Subject, adverb of frequency, verb and complement. The verb is normal verb in the base form. Okay. And what are the expressions of frequency? The expressions of frequency. Just every every week. Exactly. Every um day. Every day, every week, every month. One month, twice, twice oh, month, times. three times month. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Four time. Once significa una vez. Once. Twice. 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 Three times, four times, five times, okay? A day, a week, a month, or a year. And what did you like in this class? ¿Qué les gustó? What mm. did you like in this class? Our mm. presentations. The presentations about the breakfast. Mm. Yes, it was my favorite part too. <laughs> And when you were you were making the questions also using how often. Okay, yes. very nice, excellent. So this was the class for today. I hope you enjoyed it and you'll learn a lot. And I'll see you tomorrow. Remember, we have class tomorrow. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Hey coach. You're welcome. See you tomorrow. Mañana tenemos pregunta. Mañana tenemos dos clases, dijo. No. no, tenemos clases. Que mañana ah, tenemos clases. Ah, perdón. Tenemos... Normalmente son de lunes a jueves, pero mañana vamos a reponer la del jueves 15 de septiembre. Entonces, tomorrow's okay. Friday and we have class. So see you tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, take care. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. 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 bye.